Hello, everyone. Happy hey Tuesday. There. Happy Tuesday. Sorry I missed yesterday's stream, but it was a hell of a day yesterday. Mm. The less said about that, the better. Mm. I was not in a good mood, and it basically permeated everything. Sorry to hear that. It's better today. It's improving. <laughs> Ref plus demon. I thought about actually including my own demon today, but I didn't want to detract from the stream just in case this was actually the finale. Yeah, Naked Ref is the last thing we want on top of that. <laughs> I feel bad enough that this demon might detract from it, but at this point you're stuck with me. Yep. We know what you look like, it's fine. On screen at least. Yes. I promise you, it looks nothing like the real Soggy. Oh yeah, the real Soggy looks way worse. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. Anyway, I'm glad today uh, today's going better for you. Definitely. Hopefully today's going fine for you. I feel like I've barely seen you today. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It, you know, it was going better. You know, uh, yeah, I've, I've been to doctor's appointments all day. Nothing dramatic, just regular checkup kind of stuff just happened to all fall on the same day um and those went great that went really well you know after, after those for some reason it's been kind of lousy but uh, hopefully things will get better now things always get better in silent hill right i'm right. pretty sure that that's the exact opposite of what happened <laughs> things only seem to get worse in silent hill oh well well in that case shall we get down to it yeah, might as well. If we want to have... My oh. memory is that... No, no, no. This is not okay. Hang on. I gotta get up for a sec. There are too many lights on in this room. I'm not cheating. Oh. Okay. I'm just gonna mute. I'm not gonna put up BRB or anything. Okay. Um, sure. Let me just mug for the camera for a little bit here. Uh, let's see. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to Silent Hill 2. Uh, it's a video game. It was made in... You know, I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> no, I was going to say is uh, is that I remember this... L so we haven't made a secret out of the fact that we're coming up on the end of the game. And the game hasn't really made a secret of the fact that we're coming up on the end of the game. I remember this last section being really long. So I don't know if we're going to get to an ending tonight or not. Yeah, um, it's kind of ten of one or six of one, half a dozen of the other. Back, by the way. Welcome back. Thank it's you. possible that I only remember it being long because we got confused and lost and wasted a bunch of time our first time through, but um, we'll just have to see. Anyway, I was going to say we should dive on in if we want to have any hope of getting to an ending tonight. All right. I suppose you want your cursor. It would be appreciated. Fine, fine. There you go. I promise I won't even steal it this time. All right, I'll believe you. So when last we left our hero, question mark? Maybe protagonist is the better word? James Sunderland. When last we left our James Sunderland, we had killed Eddie, who, to be fair, was trying to kill us. And there was some shit, you know, about Eddie and the dog and power and yeah. Yep. Plus, there, there was all that stuff with Angela and her father and the extremely disturbing room. Less said about that, the better. Uh, and, um... It's not, enough a not a shower hot enough in the world to get rid of that. Definitionally. Definitionally. Um, and now, despite the fact that we went down, I don't know, like a skyscraper's worth of distance at least... Well, we seem to be on the docks of the prison, which is itself kind of alarming because there's not supposed to be a prison here. But nonetheless, mm -hmm. we're on the docks of the prison, uh, which appear to be the same as the docks on the historical society, it's where fine. we were trying to get. So we have successfully reached our destination, and we're not in, like, super darkness world anymore. We're back in the fog, you know, again, ignoring the fact that this is not the building that's supposed to be here. Everything is relatively normal. We just put our memories of everything that happened in there behind us. Normal for Silent Hill, let's put it that way. 
Creepy noises are playing. For those of you who've forgotten, we are trying to reach... Hang on. So we're here in South Vale. Nope, wrong direction. Here we go. We're trying to reach the Lakeview Hotel on the other side of the lake because that's the place where we made some memories with Mary. If you know what I mean. And... I mean, I feel like the game pretty clearly implies exactly what you're suggesting. Of course it does. There's also a tape that we, uh, they made there, <clears throat> make of that what you will, uh, that everyone keeps referring to, including Maria, who had the weird conversation where sometimes it seemed like she was Maria, and sometimes it seemed like she might have been talking for Mary, and sometimes it seemed like she might have been a third person. But... In any case, hmm. oh, Maria's dead again. She came yep. back to life and then died again. Um, well, we were just out of the room. She like It wasn't even clear what killed her. She was just bloody. Yeah. She was basically like, come into this jail cell and, and let's, you know, wink, wink. And by the time we found the way to the jail cell, she, she was just a bloody heap. Um, and James got all despondent again. And probably would have stayed despondent if Eddie hadn't come along and started waving a gun in his face and threatening to shoot him. Now he's murdered a teenager instead, so I'm sure he's in a great mood, too. Yeah. Given what we've seen of James, I think Maria dying probably upset him more than killing a teenager. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, look, there's a, a light off in the fog. That's definitely not unsettling. It's a lighthouse. Those are good, right? There, Actually, there is a lighthouse in Silent Hill according to the first game, which, now that I think about it, makes no sense, because this is a lake. Mm -hmm. But maybe that is the lighthouse. The, uh... I don't know if, if going back to reference to the first game, you might have noticed a lakeside amusement park next to the Lakeview Hotel. That is the site of the climax of the first game. Yes. So... In a very real sense, like, the first game is basically off the north edge of this map, and you spend all your time coming south to that amusement park. And then this game is about starting on the south side of the lake, and we've spent all our time trying to get north to the hotel next to the amusement park. Kind of begs the question of just how big Silent Hill is. Yeah, it's really confusing. I mean, that's a good question. Because, like... That's the Silent Hill Historical Society, but this is also called Southvale down here, and there's a place called Paleville. And I'm not entirely clear, like, so are the communities on both sides of the lake here part of Silent Hill? Because they it calls that Paleville up in the north. Mm. I'm not... Is Silent Hill a region, or is it a town? I'm very confused. The songs very clearly call it town, so... Yeah, and, and so does Mary's letter. That one. What did that say again? The that's definitely Mary's name and her own handwriting on the front. No, of the I envelope. mean the actual oh. letter. Oh. Um. Excuse me. There's nothing written on the stationery. Okay, cool. That's that's what I was curious about. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so that's a thing. The letter has disappeared. Now you can that's rack your subtle. brains trying to figure out when that happened. Yeah, I am. I do not remember off the top of my head, and if I did, it would probably be a spoiler anyway. Uh, okay. Yeah, we got this thing. Okay, this at least is still here. We still have okay. a photo of Mary. That's normal. We still have the knife. Okay. It's stained with something red. I'm surprised that hasn't turned brown by now. Anyway, um... You're about to get in this coffin, I mean boat. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is all just putting off, uh, putting off getting in this boat.
Good boy. You actually okay. have to drive that, don't you? Yeah, I'm <laughs> navigating this fog. Just I... go straight, you'll be fine. No, no. Don't I need to turn this way? Because the light was this way? Hell if I know. All I see is fog. There was a light before, I swear. I've never personally encountered them, but I gather this boat uh, behaves completely differently in hard mode. So it's not just really? about the puzzles, it's also about the controls for this stupid boat. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Yep. Oh wow. Okay, off we go. I found the light. I wonder what happens if I just rode in the wrong direction there. Good question. I'm suddenly very aware of all those stories about all the dead people in the lake that we kept forgetting. Mm-hmm. Aren't there a bunch of people that also, like, died from some kind of illness out here, too? Yeah, I'm trying to remember what that story was, but yeah... Oh man, this is way clunkier to control than it looks, by the way. <laughs> At least the I, turning is. I feel like a real boat would be, too, so... Yeah... It's just being realistic. Oh, we made it. hasn't changed at all in three years. Hasn't it? Uh, yeah, it looks... So it was a creepy, foggy, monster-infested, howling place before, James? At least he didn't try to, like, stick his hand in the ocean or something. Oh, gosh. Uh, I don't know. It's taking control of the camera. Right, I forgot. It's like... This is trying to get sand in the lake. Eh, I know what you meant. It's not a lake, it's an ocean. It's a different horror game. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't get us confused. Okay. There's a fountain in the shape of a bird. Okay. There is. Kiss the fish. I got a Little Mermaid music box. See? It's a fountain in the shape of a bird? Um, it doesn't look like any bird I know. Oops. Look at a fish That's or a, a bug. Snake. I mean, is it? Or is it just James being very out of touch with reality at this point? Hmm. Honestly, it could be either, but that looks like a bug to me. Can you play that? Music box is a figure from the fairy tale The Little Mermaid attached, found in a garden fountain. I can't yeah. use that here. 
Guess not. That's a good point. Art is subjective. Maybe it looks like a bird to James. And that's all that matters. I hope that's all that matters. If something tells us to go find the fish fountain later. Oh, oh. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> something, something, collection complete, etc., etc. Oh, there's a map. I'm not singing it. I refuse. Uh. Waiting for you. Uh oh. The hotel, third floor, three twelve. Waiting for you. Room 312. That's the room Mary and I stayed in. Mary, are you there? Or maybe... I got a hotel map, parentheses, for guests. Or maybe what? Uh, good question. Maybe Maria's there waiting for you instead? You'd like that, wouldn't you? What is that sound? Don't know, it's very unsettling, isn't it? I choose. Whoa! Okay. Okay, so that's a big stairwell downwards there. That's a very unsettling sound. <clears throat> it's just something that has a creepy heartbeat, don't worry about it. Wow, ashtrays in a hotel. There's something I haven't seen in a long time. <laughs> that's a good point the button, but nothing happens. Lock's broken. Okay. That carpet is sure something else. Yeah. There's a single dinner here? Got the fish key. Okay. An empty plate, a knife and a fork. That's all. I think you mean a dingle hopper. <clears throat> did I scare you? Yeah, you did. You're here to find Mary, aren't you, James? Well, have you? No. Is that why you're here, too? She's here, isn't she? If you know where she is, tell me. I'm tired of walking. I wish I knew. But she said it in her letter. What letter? Want to read it? But don't tell Rachel, okay? Who's Rachel? She was our nurse. I took it from her locker. Okay. This should be good. My dearest Laura, I'm leaving this letter with Rachel to give to you after I'm gone. I'm far away now, in a quiet, beautiful place. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye before I left. Be well, Laura. Don't be too hard on the sisters. And Laura, about James. I know you hate him because you think he isn't nice to me, but please give him a chance. It's true he may be a little surly sometimes, and he doesn't laugh much, but underneath he's really a sweet person. Laura, I love you like my very own daughter. If things had worked out differently, I was hoping to adopt you. Happy 8th birthday, Laura. Your friend forever, Mary. Laura, how old are you? I turned eight last week. So, Mary couldn't have died. 
three years ago. Could, could she really be here? Is this the quiet, beautiful place she was talking about? Me and Mary talked a lot about Silent Hill. She even showed me all her pictures. She really wanted to come back. That's why I'm here. Maybe you'll get it if you see the other letter. The one, Mary. Huh? I must have dropped it. Laura. I gotta find it. Laura! James, are you really just gonna stand there yelling her name instead of like actually trying to stop her? Come on, man. I mean, technically, it's an improvement over his last interactions with Laura. True. He didn't yell at her. <laughs> oh my god, it's a better cat than I could draw. Look at that. It's <laughs> glorious. <laughs> okay, I have a lot of questions. As you should. Okay. Uh, I love to play the piano, but she wasn't very good. Like, why is Laura? Why? How is Laura? And then the letter. <laughs> so Mary didn't. So wait, did they just tell us Mary died three years ago, or who? I'm so confused. The person telling oh, us Mary died three years ago was James from the beginning of this game. Well, yeah, he seems to think she died three years ago, but. Apparently he doesn't remember Laura, even though Laura must have met him enough to not like him. Hmm. What the hell hmm. is actually going on here? Oh uh -oh. shit. Oh no, it's more of that thing. No. Oh shit. Damn, it, nothing stops this guy. It's too dark to read the map. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, wow. Um. Okay, now there are two of them in this extremely dark, tiny hallway. No, no. Damn it. Can't tell if I can do anything here to like... Why are there multiple of those now? I don't know. Why are they here? Where did Laura go? For reference, the proper name for those uh, monsters would be the Abstract Daddy, for reasons I'm sure you can probably figure out. Yeah, I should have explored this place more before it started filling up with monsters. I didn't realize going in that room was going to change everything. Abstract Daddy, yes. <sighs> Mr. James Sunderland, the videotape you forgot here is being kept in the office on the first floor. Okay, then. Uh-oh. Uh, I wonder if they've watched it. I would say they've definitely all watched it and laughed their asses off by now. Oh my. There's a bell here. Even if I ring it, I don't think anyone will come. Sorry, I forgot to... A painting is hanging here, and there's nothing unusual about it. I forgot to read the bit with the piano earlier, but um, you all could see it. We can read, it's okay. There's only one key left, and it's the one we need. How convenient. Phone's broken. Huh? Wait, the lock to of the office is broken? When am I supposed to get the videotape then? Break it down. Gift shop? Lock's broken. Let's find out any money on me anyway. Ooh, that's elaborate. There's a rectangular indentation. There's a plan for the indentation, and something's engraved on it. Seat of the princess who awoke from death. Play the music box? 
Uh, what music box? This? Nope. Doesn't sound quite right. Is the music box broken? Or maybe... Princess who fled at midnight. Right. Oh, okay. I see where this is going. Spoke no words. There we go. I Guessing we're looking for the Cinderella and the Snow yeah. White. It's our Sleeping Beauty. Yeah. Could be either, depending on how they want to interpret it. Unless there's some Japanese myth that's uh, replaced those two, I'm not sure. Uh, good question. Boy. Oh, they're staying dead. Okay. It's a Luca Coffee. Open 7.30 to 10. Uh, let's go. Oh, the lock's broken. Damn it. Cafe Toluca. Let's name everything after the lake. I think so. Lake Shore, Lake View Hotel, Toluca. So wait, where's the what office on the first floor? Oh, wait. Huh? Kitchen. This isn't on the map. Okay. Oh, I guess it's a guest map, so it's omitting all the, like, hotel areas mm. that a guest wouldn't go to. That makes sense. Oh, no. Come at me, come on. <laughs> Something else there. Another one. I thought that one was down already. He was just staring at something. Rifle shells, handgun bullets, handgun bullets, handgun bullets, <laughs> toilet paper. <laughs> don't need that right now. You don't? A laundry cart. There's nothing useful on the side. Okay. I'd really say cool. that any, any uh, like every man doing this would definitely need toilet paper or at least a change of pants, but he seems oddly calm about all this. Hey, I'm just wondering why the cleaning staff was uh, hoarding bullets, but you know, maybe they're used to Silent Hill doing this shit. You and I clean houses very differently, Soggy. Uh, yes. <laughs> it did say the office on the first floor, right? That's what I saw. Oh, can't go in the men's room or the ladies' room. Or any of the hotel rooms. Well, proper adventure game rules, you know. Hmm. We're supposed to be going up, so obviously we should go down first. Sounds good. Full exploration mode. Oh shit, of course. Just to fuck with you if you still think you can run in this game. Yep. There's a pause here. It's not something I can use right now. Yes, it looks. The bar Venus Tears is the only thing that's supposed to be down here, despite the rather elaborate staircase. 
Wow, it's a hell of a door. The sign says it's open. Oh, yes, the elevator's down here. I don't know, not another elevator. Yeah, suddenly I want to go in the bar. <laughs> what, you want another pop quiz? It's locked. Well. What? Uh, I got a can of thinner. Thinner. Like paint thinner? Go back in there. Is it, does it make that sound again? What's no. That? No. <laughs> okay. The camera still wobbles. <laughs> That's fine. Hey. Oh. Welcome, Uplifting Gummyus. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, thank you. I hope you're enjoying this trip through hell. I wish we mean Silent Hill. Yeah. We could all use some uplifting yumminess right now, I think. <laughs> and yet, instead we have this. <sighs> okay, so we have, we have a couple of things going on. We have two little stairs going up, and we've been told to go to the office on the first floor, but there doesn't seem to be an office on the first floor that we can access. If it was, it was one of the locked doors. Yeah, or, well, broken. There's no locked doors on this floor at all. Uh... I guess we'll go up the narrow staircase first. No. I really expected a monster. Yeah, I was waiting for mannequins, too. By the way, am I wrong, or does uplifting yummies uh, mean you've hit your follower goal? Oh, you're right, it has. Sweet, thank you. Yeah, thank you, uplifting yummies. Congratulations! Progress, progress, I like it. I'll have to reset it for five more next time. Yeah! There's a bell here. Even if I ring it, I don't think anyone will come. <laughs> but nobody came. Pretty much. Oh, thank you! Thank you! We will definitely have as much fun as it is possible to have in Silent Hill. Yeah, and be scared the rest of the time. The uh -oh, oh, shit. Whoa. Speak of the devil. Another daddy. Terra daddies! Uh, no. No! no. Dang it! No. I can never seem to get... Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, no. no. Please tell me you can use that while you're being attacked. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Stop it. Wow. No! Uh, oh my gosh. Is there a better way to fight those? Oh, man. Just thinking about that. Maybe the rifle? Those things are just eating up. <laughs> Sounds like a great night. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. Oh, uh, enjoy. Oh, while we're in here, uh, key to room 312, key to the room number 312, lying behind the counter of the lobby reception desk. Okay. Love it. The 12 was the room Mary and I stayed in three years ago. We know. You've told us that several times. Have you noticed, though, that he keeps mentioning that they were in Silent Hill three years ago instead of she died three years ago? Yeah. I she died of an illness three years ago. I mean, multiple things can happen in a year, I realize, but... Unless that illness was very quick moving and it doesn't sound like it was. Yeah. Which goes back to the whole, did Ma uh, maybe he's unclear about Mary and when she died. Hmm. By the way, the fish is just a um, fish-shaped keychain. Sure is. Okay, then. Thinner is a small can filled with thinner. We are not going to explain further, like calling it paint thinner or something. That's very strange. Oh, hell no. I 
feel free to kick that as many times as you need to. Unfortunately, he'll only do it once. Okay, I only have 17 rifle bullets left, so I gotta be careful with that. I got plenty of bullets for the other guns. See, this is the problem I have with Angela. Is like, to be perfectly honest with you, like Eddie, I feel bad for Eddie, but Eddie went off the deep end. Eddie is a problem and a danger to other people and himself. Angela, I'm not sure I really blame her. No, honestly. I... I shan't say more until we finish the game. Quite. You know, this brings up an interesting point. There's a theme that, th uh, a thread that connects to the three people that the prison kept focusing on. You know, basically everyone we've met since the game started except Laura mm -hmm. and Maria. But the three people who... And um, James doesn't really fit that pattern. He doesn't. Weird. Oh, a locked door. Instead of a broken door. Okay. Two of four. And two of two. Two of four and two of two are locked. Which means we might be coming back here. Definitely Oops. coming back here. They wouldn't just leave it plain locked unless we were going to do something in there. Yeah. I just hope these guys stay dead. They're such a pain. Five, four, three... Yeah, you're not wrong. I mean, there's no denying that uh, her dad had it coming. Probably deserve far worse. Staff only. And of course, I'm allowed in. The one door I can go through is the one that says staff only. Uh, replacing some of the health packs that I spent. There's nothing interesting written in the memo book. Okay. There's nothing inside this drawer. More staff hoarding bullets at this hotel. Why is everyone just hoarding bullets? I mean, okay. Look outside, but... Okay, this is cool. The camera's been forced into the closet, so now I'm watching James uh... like it was a voyeur in the closet. <laughs> the suitcase is locked. From what I've seen of this guy, I'm pretty sure he's not in any closet known to man, but okay. Okay. <clears throat> I can't read anything on the receiver. Could the phone line have been cut? This is special in something, so you just turn around and there's nothing there. It's just your camera. Great. Love it. It's an interesting camera angle. Yeah. First brochure is going to line up here, and I am not interested in that right now. <laughs> the book here, it doesn't look like it will be of any particular use. Did you read it? You don't know. I got the shotgun shells. Hmm? I got more shotgun shells. Okay. Sensing a pattern. I help Frank. Wait. There's a conspicuously open book. There's a desk open on the, book open on the top of the desk. It looks like a medical book. I've already read enough medical books. None of them ever did me any good. <laughs> Tell okay. us how you really feel, James. No, oh, I thought maybe I could read the little notepad there, but it looks like he just wants to talk about the medical book. Hmm. Well, more useful stuff. So nothing at the end of the hallway. Uh, looks like you might be looking at something. I think you're right. Ah. More bullets. Not just the staff. Everyone's stocking this hotel full of bullets, apparently. Next time we go to our special place hotel, we should uh, check and see if there's any handgun bullets just randomly lying around. Okay. That's... I'm sure they will throw us out. Yeah, I'm sure I can just ask them that. Like, hey, by the way, I forgot to bring my bullets. <laughs> Do you think you could... I mean, they loan uh, toothbrushes and stuff, right? Yeah. We've asked them for silverware a few times when our takeout has failed to give us any. 
True. Depends on the state, really. That is so true. Yep, absolutely. Health drinks and rifle shells. Wow, the really good shit. Oh boy. Wonder what we need that for. One of those abstract daddies. Private! Uh. Locked! Once again, the door that isn't on the map that says don't go in is the one that we can actually do something with. I'm sensing a pattern. Yep. Just in case you thought Euclid was coming back. Lock's broken. Yeah, in this case, it's not even non-Euclidean. It's just that this is a map intended for, you know, hotel guests. Right. So. This is an odd thing. There's a giant central staircase, but then... Apparently, if you want to go to the third floor, you just have to take the elevator or the side staircase. Uh. Wait. Speaking of which, I guess we're going to the third floor. No, oh. we're not. It locked. Fire hose extinguisher? What? Fire hose extinguisher. Fire hose extinguisher. Yep. Fire hose extinguisher. I don't think I want to extinguish the fire hose. I mean, if it was on fire, I would be one to extinguish the fire hose. Yeah, okay, fair. Okay, what are we missing? We have a we still haven't found the office key? on the first floor. No, we haven't. Does something happen if you put the obvious little mermaid box in the obvious little mermaid hole? I guess we can try. I think it's not a complete answer to a puzzle, so probably not, but it'll even let you. Oh, this is very dramatic. I put down the Little Mermaid music box. Play. Do they seriously have three different broken versions of that? James is looking at something. Is it just the Little Mermaid? I think it's just the Little Mermaid. Okay. And yes, I think they might. What can we use paint thinner on? I don't know. That lock's broken too. I didn't even see that door before, but it doesn't matter because it's not what we need. Oh. Nope. What was that you said about thinking we wasted a bunch of time getting lost in here the last time we played this game? Uh oh. There we go. Whoa, that was weird. Let's shut the transition. Yeah, um, I'm starting to see why. Okay, let's think about this. We should save. That's a good idea. We have a fish key, right? Mm -hmm. We just need a fish lock. Yeah. I'm wondering, just randomly, if it goes in the um, suitcase? Oh, maybe. And that thing had two keyholes. So there's probably a second key we need. But it's at least something. It's weird that his head's constantly snapping to the Little Mermaid box that we left <laughs> there now. Just obsessing over it. It's fine. We don't have our key to room 203. I was worried that there was that random sound in the elevator and then nothing happened. Yeah, I tried to use the buttons to see if we could like take it to another floor, but it, he wouldn't even try them. Hmm. I use the fish key. Ha! Oh, that is all that, that we needed. It. 204, okay. Room key in room 204, okay. Progress. Why stick around? Dad 
bodies are still dead. Even better. Love it. <laughs> Bye. Okay. There's this nothing in here. Better years. I got the employee elevator key. There's nothing interesting written in the memo book. Wait, you don't want to go in the shitty hotel bathroom, James? He does not. Is this a hole in the wall? Sure looks like. One, yep. Yep. Mort. <laughs> Mort. Okay. Photos are scattered all over the bed. What's this? Mm -hmm. Huh? Hey, wait, is that the suitcase we're standing next to? Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Part of the photos been colored over with a marker. Part of uh, the letter should be. Yup. Now it's unlocked. I have a guess oh. what to do here. Uh -huh. Thinner. Thinner. I used the thinner. Why didn't you just call it paint thinner? I don't know. Hell! Oh, okay. Sure. Great. This Help. wasn't, like, dead or something. I got the Cinderella music box. Okay. Okay. I'm betting Sleeping Beauty for the other one. Fair, makes sense. Let's go turn that in. And then employee elevator key. Listen to another broken version of the failed music box. Might as well. Princess who fled at midnight. <laughs> that's actually really cool, especially if you know the song that's supposed to play correctly. Yeah. <laughs> it really is different parts of the correct song. It's very effective like that. I feel like this music box is an FF14. Mm hmm. Singing the same thing. Maybe with this, we can use the elevator with the horrible noise on the basement level? That's what I'm thinking. It's the only elevator we found. I didn't realize it was an employee elevator, but, I mean, it's on the regular map, so... Let's give it a try. Everything's staying dead very cooperatively on this map. Yeah, I was just thinking. It's not bothering to flood you with enemies, which is odd. Nope, I can't use that here. Yeah. This is not an employee elevator. It doesn't look like one. No, it looks like a regular elevator. Was what there another elevator? Thing? Not that I've seen. Our Venus is still locked. Our only other key is 312. 
Sure, you can wander back and forth for a game that's not going to uh, repeatedly punish you by adding more enemies. Maybe that's why the enemies are being so cooperative, because be. it knows that uh, it's forcing us to wander a bit. Could certainly be. Okay. I feel like I'm missing something obvious, don't you? Probably. Hmm. If there was going to be an employee elevator, I feel like it would have been back in this hallway over here, you know? Uh, not that one. This one. I'm only looking at the walkthrough for the purposes of being able to write descriptions and stuff, so... I did not check it today. Fair enough. Cardboard box. Just because this is like a, you know, the cleaning hallway. But there is no elevator here and nothing locked. Hmm. Okay, that the was unnecessarily have... loud. Yeah, really. But the only place that we haven't been back to is... The, uh, room where we met Laura. I mean, where the heck did Laura get to? She's disappeared again through a wall of abstract daddies, which is very unsettling. Yeah. Play elevator I missed in here? It's like the monsters just don't even seem to see her. She just goes and they don't notice her. Yeah. It's not a scratch on her. She's always perfectly happy. Yeah. I like the detail, there being one leaf from that plant knocked off. <laughs> Can you use the key on that? Uh, try. I think this is the same elevator. Mm. Nope. Okay, what am I overlooking? The door we're not seeing in the darkness or something? Yeah. Wasn't there another locked door other oh, than... Oh! Right, that one. Yeah, that one. Okay. Maybe that's the employee elevator. Yep. Aha. Uh -huh. Good call. Huh? Another cleaning cart. Health drink. Health drink. There are memos hanging here, but nothing interesting is written. Jeez, James, don't be so dismissive. Someone probably put their heart and soul into that message. Let's home play the elevator room. Employee regulations are posted here. They got nothing to do with me. But no All surprise right. I used to work here. Uh no, James. I don't think we worked here. Wait allowance one person. Okay. So what's this? There's a notice about the buttons. Wait allowance one person. Oh my god, that's horrible. There yeah, wow. Now that I'm deaf. The shelf is empty. It looks like I could store my stuff here. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. So it's mine because you're carrying everything. Put an item on the shelf. You can start with that great knife because that thing's got to weigh 500 pounds. Yeah. I put the great knife on the shelf. Somehow I doubt that's going to be enough. Shit. Nope. What else do we have that's heavy? I mean, rifles are pretty heavy. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to keep my... 
Nice, useful weaponry. Keys and letters don't weigh that much. No. 193 bullets probably weighs a fair bit. Fuck. Ugh, that was a good jump scare. First time. <laughs> It's going to be everything, isn't it? It's probably going to be everything. That's why they've been giving us so much stuff, because they know we're naturally going to be able to use it. Can I maybe, at least bring my healing? Huh? Maybe you can keep the letter. <laughs> oh boy. No healing items. Can I at least keep the letter? Wow. That's hardcore. You have to leave our memories of Mary behind. Yeah, hey, why don't you just get rid of the keys and shit? And, uh, and, let's see. I can't even bring the radio and the flashlight? Oh, no. What is down drop here? Everything. Oh, man. Okay. This is now? fine. Oh, How do the employees ever use this for anything useful? By not carrying anything. Oh, we have to go to the first floor office to get our tape through this thing, don't we? Of course. <laughs> A reasonable thing to do. Oh no. This is fine. Like, hotel map for employees acquired. Uh -huh. Okay. So now it's filled in all of our empty space. Refrigerator room, freezer room, pantry, employee cafeteria. Fun. Yeah, now we can see hall, anteroom, storeroom, service room, lounge, all the things we missed. Nice, nice. What about the basement? Oh, look, there's much stuff in the basement we didn't even uh, try to get to. Eh, pump room, boiler room. Pump room, boiler room, liquor storage. Yes, hey. let's go. We can use it after all this. Third floor, anything interesting? Nope, third floor. Oh, observation room. Okay. Observation of what? Okay, so the office we're trying to get to is right here. That's easy. Wait, is this really not going to let us just take, go back? Good Don't thing you saved. Try. Yeah, I'm really glad I saved. No smoking. Uh, it's too dark to read the map in here. Uh-oh. Well, yeah, you didn't bring your flashlight. Damn it! <laughs> right. Fuck going in that office until I have... Lock's broken. Lock's broken. Oh. What room is this? There's a schedule book here. The date is from one year ago. One year ago? One year ago. Hey, rifle shells. Nice, nice. It's like an employee break room or something. What are you gonna do with those? Throw them at the enemy? Yeah. Um. I don't have any monsters down here, and I'm uh, nervous as hell just because of the threat there might be <laughs> monsters. If there are, you have one choice. Run. Two if you count dying. Dang it, the shutter's closed. I can't get to the security office. Or they might actually have some, like, guns or something. Stripped of everything except my clothes. This president want that too. Yeah, honestly. That's a waste of everything. 
Okay. Um, guess we're checking. Checking the office. Then yep. we've got. Just want to check the cafeteria or the fridge reversed. Hmm. Gotta be thorough, right? Obviously. I think the fridge sounds like fun. Yeah. Uh, that was the door back into the hallway. This is the kitchens. This is the fridge. Damn it. Nope. And now, time to go back to uh, 999. Let's check the freezer. <clears throat> it's Please, perfect. no. Oh, come on, that was one of the... <laughs> you just want me to say the thing, and I already said the thing, so I'm not <laughs> saying the thing. <clears throat> Uh-oh, this one works. Hand tree. Okay. Potatoes, onions here. They smell slightly rotten. Ew. I got the Snow White music box? Oh. Uh, I guess it's Snow White. Cans of fruit are lined up. The expiration dates are probably long gone. There are tea bags and cookies here. They are all past their expiration dates. Juice cans lined up here. There's no reason to carry these what? with me. Wait. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait. wait, wait. <laughs> Aren't we you began the asshole this game. was like, the only possible thing I can stick down this garbage chute is a full pack of juice? Yes! What? This is the game that started with you randomly picking up juice cans. Soup <laughs> can't find it here. I guess they're still okay, but I'm just not hungry. There's nothing here, but the whole thing smells vaguely moldy anyway. Okay, well that happened. So it was Snow White, in the pantry. With the candlestick? Okay, let's go to the office and get our tape whatnot. This looks surprisingly here? normal. Yeah, this whole section has been surprisingly normal. There's nothing here that looks particularly useful. It's a locker to hide in for Phasma. There's nothing here that looks particularly useful. There's nothing here that looks particularly useful. He doesn't know the value of a good locker, clearly. Nope. I got the videotape. There's a can opener beneath the videotape? Uh -huh. I got a can opener? Well, now you can go eat that soup. Sure, uh, the camera's going a little wonky. No? I really thought there was going to be monsters now. Just because it's somehow suspiciously the only thing that's not, you know, horrifying, horrifyingly out of date. Okay, so you want me to open the soup cans? Do it. Oh, come on. I can use that here. Why would you use a can opener for cans? Don't be ridiculous. Nope, he's not going to open any of these cans. These are not the cans we're looking for. Only one way to go, down to the basement. <laughs> your car's in another castle. Uh, and your princess is in another <laughs> pantry. Whoa. Or maybe she died three years ago. Unclear. Or one year ago, or just yesterday. Something like that. Or maybe she's not dead yet. Oh shit! Hi! Oh, that's bad. Uh, okay. Medkit? Just in case you ran okay. afoul of that. Yeah. Big noisy machine. Huh? I got the bar key? Oh. What's it doing down here? Why is this machine still running? Oh boy. Actually, wait. Eh? There's light in here. I can look at my... Okay, we're in the boiler room. Okay. Trying to get over to the bar, I assume. 
So we need to turn left out of here, go past the electrical and liquor, and then the kitchen will be at the end of the hallway. Okay. I'm trying to plan my movement so I don't spend more time than I have to around the monsters. Like that Ow. one? Yeah, like that one. Uh oh. Thank goodness those guys are really bad at, <sighs> at like, everything. Hey, healing. Are those ladies are really bad at everything. There are a variety of canned foods here. Okay. So? I didn't say no. The lock is broken. I can't open it. Oh. There's a can with no label on it. No label? Which door seems to be broken. Can't get it open. Oh, hell no. Oh, and now we're at a bar. Yeah, I'm expecting to finally been teleported back to Heaven's Night. Yeah. What did that say? Nature or something? There's a jukebox here. It doesn't play, so it must be broken. <laughs> Looks like the one that killed me in Project Whoa. Zomboid the other night. Yeah, it does. <clears throat> there's a lamp on the counter, but there's no light bulb, so I can't turn it on? Nature brown trout something something. Nature spirit. Okay, cool. I tried to use the dark key, but it's <laughs> too dark to find the keyhole. Really? <laughs> it's not that dark in here. Surely the jukebox light should not be able to assist you. Yeah, that jukebox is plenty bright. Guess we're going to open the conspicuous can. Okay, I do not want to open anything that's been in here. It has no label. What the fuck? What? 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 <laughs> Excuse me? There's light bulbs in the can? I'm sorry, somehow this is the thing that feels over the edge. Yep. I was expecting a lot of completely disgusting things, but not that. Light bulbs? I, uh... A light bulb. Got a light bulb. Fresh from the can. I'm so confused. This is some demented dream logic. I put the light bulb in the lamp, and now I can see the door, I'm guessing. Yep! Okay. I got the tape. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Perfect. Except I'm not sure that's how the song goes. It is now. I mean, someone put them in the can. Okay. So, two things we need to do. We need to go reunite ourselves with our gear. Yeah, by all means, it's working great. <laughs> also, you notice the walls in this room, like, shimmer weirdly every time we walk in? Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was intentional or a bug. At first I thought it was our flashlight, but they do it even with our flashlight no longer on our person, so... Yep, oh, shit. shit. Oh. One more round with you girls, isn't it? Oh, hey, wait, how's the elevator get? Damn it. Retrieve everything? Yes. Hey. Now you can go that murder was... all those monsters, too. That was a harrowing experience. Oh, you know what? This is a shotgun situation if I ever saw one. You still have all your shit, right? Pyramid Head didn't, like, come and take his knife back or something? Well, I mean, at least seem, at least seem like a lot of bullets. Healing items, Snow White. E. And tape. Okay. Laura, Mary... Nope, okay. Pyramid even left his knife. No, I Good. think everything's here? I think everything's here. We have survived 
That tense, um, <laughs> tense. So uh, running through the. Wait, they're gone. Um, are they? They're usually silent. They're right here. No, they're gone. Okay. Okay. This is fine. No white. Uh, you're slightly damaged. Yeah, so I am. Probably no big deal, but you never know. It's been happy to hand out damage without very little warning so far, so better safe than sorry. Especially with the abstract daddies around. Here we go. The correct song, probably. This the song you're referring to? Yep, that's the one. I got the hotel stairway key. Pretty sure this is the only place this ever plays, so. Yep. It's funny how many of the really famous pieces of music in this game play in, like, one room. Usually you remember the room, too. nice. It's faded out slowly. There it is. 312. But of course we're not I'm stopping. waiting there. for you. Too bad, because nothing else wants us. <clears throat> All right, moment of truth. <sighs> huh, this room's in much better condition than most of them. Yeah. And it's huge. Wow. wow. Nice windows. Yeah. Almost looks cozy. Yeah. You know, those windows are actually another thing they had a bug fix for the enhanced edition. The PC oh, wow. port messed them up and really um, ruined the ambiance in this scene. Oops. I think one of the most important things that the enhanced edition probably fixes. There's nothing interesting written in the memo book. It's almost pretty, like the white mm -hmm. fog outside, when you combine it with everything else. Well, let's do this. 
There's a television here. Even when it's plugged in, all I get is snow. So I can interact with the VCR separately, so... Oh <clears throat> boy. No? Wait, am I wrong? There's VCR here. It looks like I'll be able to use it. Uh, I really hope whatever's on this tape is not going to get us kicked off Twitch. Although, I'm pretty sure we're not going <laughs> to see what we think we're going to see. Videotape I forgot at the hotel three years ago. Are you taping again? Come on. <sighs> I don't know why, but I just love it here. It's so peaceful. You know what I heard? This whole area used to be a sacred place. I think I can see why. Uh, it's too bad we have to leave. Please promise you'll take me again, James. <laughs>
Pirates. Nice going, James, you piece of shit. Jeez. Yeah, there we have the truth of it, huh? This whole time, all of this shit, and you just fucking murdered her. I guess he does fit the similarity with the other characters then. Sure does. Yep. James... Mary didn't die three years ago of sickness. James... James killed her. Was that also three years ago? Because the timeline sure doesn't make any damn sense yet. No. When was that videotape recorded? The videotape of her in the hotel? Yeah. Sounds like supposedly three years ago? Oh no. Uh oh. Flashlight's broken. There's no light where you're going, James. I'm willing to believe that they were at this hotel three years ago, but it seems clear Mary was alive until pretty recently. Like, yeah. very recently. Also, for fuck's sake, James, I realize that you are having a mental breakdown as you slowly realize you've been lying to yourself for the entirety of this game, as well as to the players, and that you murdered your wife, and I realize that's a whole thing, but for fuck's sake, are you bad at handling children? Uh, at least he didn't lie to her. True. True. Uh-oh. That sure is a save point scratched in, like, chalk on the back of the door. Welcome to Hotel Alternate. Alternate? Yeah, you didn't notice it's all, like, moldy and rotten and dripping with water now? Oh, boy. We went to the Dark World again, didn't we? I mean, I feel like he belongs there! Yeah! Truth. I realize we're looking for Mary. I have questions about that Mary on the radio, too. Yeah, I'm guessing that's not... I mean, you don't typically hear a dead lady on the radio unless you're playing Phasmophobia. There's no real indication that, like, anyone's resurrected in Silent Hill that we've seen. Although, I mean, Maria's there, but she's not Mary, so... But also... That radio sure did sound like it was detecting a monster, didn't it? It sure did, yeah. Oh, jeez. Which way do you think we go now? Um... Where haven't we been? I mean, it's the alternate hotel, so who knows? Yeah, see, look, this door's eh, broken point. now. So who Guess knows? we have to try everything again. Yeah. This door's open, still. This is always open. Huh? Headset. Mary's going to die? You... You must be joking. Must be joking. I'm very sorry. 
But you're a doctor. It's your job to heal people. How can you just let her die? Please, calm down. As her doctor, I promise I'll do what I can. But there's still no effective treatment for her condition. How long does she have? I'm afraid I'm not sure. Three years at most. Perhaps six months. It's impossible to say with certainty. Okay. Three years, huh? Huh. Okay. So what, did you just, like, put her out of her misery then, or what? Which does not excuse it in any way. That's... I'm... This is actually an interesting qu- What? I went into 207 and came out of 204. Oh no. Is this a warp doors puzzle? No, I hate these. That's two of six, okay. Okay. Uh. Oh no, now I'm over here. This was off limits before. Looks like with good reason. Uh. Whoa. Wait, it came back out 207? <laughs> this is fine. Actually, some of these doors are pre marked as broken, even though I've never tried them, too. Hmm. Maybe he already knows they're broken. What's weird is, like, that all the broken ones are cracked. This one wasn't marked, but it's broken. Yeah. Back at 202. Wait, oh, there's bullets at the end of the hallway. I mean, I guess I do have questions here. What are the circumstances of Ames killing Right. Barry? This so changes exactly... everything, and yet it's still a scramble. Yeah. It's... This game is obviously, um... As we were just saying about Angela... Oh, where am I? Oh, no, wait, I'm actually where I'm supposed to be for once. Okay. This game doesn't seem to be particularly caring about, say, how justified someone might or might not have been. No. Okay, we're over here now. That's not James's usual message. What do you mean you can't open it? Okay. Okay. Does the same go for the other door into the lobby? Weird. 
Is Silent Hill hiccuping on your screen, Raph? Uh, not... I mean, I, I saw what looked like you accidentally triggering like an auto run or something. You just kind of ran into the wall. Oh, weird. Yeah, the, the game froze on my screen. Uh oh, huh. okay. The stream shenanigans I again. Open it. Oh, boy. I think I did should be affecting that. Uh, We're still trying to diagnose what's causing our occasional stream shenanigans, but so far yeah. everything is... It was looking real conclusive up until potentially that, so... I don't know. It might... Yeah, now's not the time to get into it. But yeah, we're yeah. continuing to work on it. Apologies if um, there's any weirdness with the stream tonight. Don't ruin this. This is... This is a concrete wall blocking the stairwell. Okay. There we go. Now Euclid has left the building again. Huh? Why? Because of the wall? Yes. This is the teleporting before. All of the above? Fuck can I go now? Cloak I can't... room? No, it's locked. Yeah. I'm broken. Doesn't exist anymore. Mm. You won't even try and ring the bell. If I can't go downstairs and I or if the way downstairs is blocked and he quote unquote can't open the doors into the lobby. Oh, I haven't tried going back into 219 after going through 202. Okay. Is that it? Maybe. Where does that take me? Elevator? Uh, I think I... I'll try it again. I don't think he responded to it. That's a good point. It could be the elevator, too. It's definitely a place we haven't really gone. Nope, that actually connects semi-logically. Let's try souls that... Wait. Now I'm in 207. What? Counting is hard. Especially when you're a damn murderer, apparently. No! 219 comes out of 220. Eh, okay. Oh, jeez. That sounds really awkward. What a oh, mess. Oh, that's bad. Wow. Glad you managed to solve it, at least. Yeah, I should look into that and see if that's related to our issues. Who knows? I'll try anything at this point. Yeah. Thank you for the suggestion. Need a note for that. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Does the elevator work? Oh my gosh, ah. you're right. The elevator works. Good catch. Let me guess, basement. Uh -oh. Basement. Down one more time. Uh, the room's flooding. Uh, oh shit. Whoa. What? Whoa, what is that? There's like. Uh, go, no, it's, uh, it's. Those guys, but they're under the water now. Oh shit. I can really shit. see them. The guys from the very beginning of the game. Yep. Is the bar open? The bar's open. And flooded. That is some weird water. Yeah. I guess it makes sense all the water would be pooling at the bottom of the... At the bottom of the... Wow, that's a lot of health drinks. <laughs> Pooling at the bottom of the, um... Yeah, it's quiet in that room. Yeah, weird. I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. 
Shotgun shells. What on earth is it preparing us for? Uh... Curator won't open. No, I'm trying to get... There's clearly health packs here. Come on, James. There we go. First aid kits. Sorry. There's nothing useful here. Just a can full of light bulbs! <laughs> Oh, that sounds bad. Yep. I'm just gonna check the other way. Oh, there's a sh Um, James? It's a wall. It's a wall. I can't get through here. That. Oh, good. It's good to know that it will stop me from using a health kit if I'm or any health item if I'm at full health. That's nice. Okay. So. Oh my. And again, shooting the door. That's the block. I can use James's head to tell where those guys are. At least someone's using it, because he sure as fuck isn't. Uh, what try is and open that? that. a mysterious grate blocking the elevator. No, I mean that sound. Yeah, good question. Give me back that knife. No. I... I won't. Saving it for yourself? Me? N no. I'd never kill myself.
It's hot as hell in here. You see it too. For me, it's always like this. side story that exists to give structure and provide some explanation for James's story, but all the scenes in this game, that's the one that, that always sticks with me. Yep. I thought I was going to get through this without crying until we hit something later, but um, <clears throat> didn't work. <laughs> yeah. fuck is that? Yeah, but uh, not sure I can add anything to that scene and we've got a weird creepy noise to follow. Yep. Also, what was that about, you know, it always looks like this to me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is she implying that Silent Hill looks different to different people? Always been my takeaway. It explains a lot of the stuff that happened earlier in the game. It sure does. What we've been seeing is just our version of Silent Hill. Eddie was probably busy seeing his tormentors. Yeah. What the fuck is Laura seeing? Honestly, I don't think Laura's seeing anything. I think Laura might just be wandering around Silent Hill. Looking for her friend that James fucking murdered. Yeah. Anyway, please continue. Yeah. Well, it's important to highlight that. It's central to understanding what's going on with this game. What's going on in this game. Yep. That everyone is... At least the three people that were called out in the previous building in the prison are in their own hells. I don't thinking back, there were um, moments where the aesthetic of things shifted abruptly. It almost feels like we were clipping into their version of reality for a bit, if that makes sense. Uh -huh. Like that bit in the very, in the apartment building at the very beginning, where suddenly a door that didn't look like other doors in the apartment building appeared, and Angela was on the other side. Uh, it goes far deeper than that. As you might recall, there was a white door and a black door. Mm -hmm. The white doors are the ones we're repeatedly having to go through for Angela. White is the color of death in Japan, the same way black is frequently in the Western world. Oh, uh, I see. Okay. And that was the door behind which she was preparing to kill herself. Mm-hmm. Everything in this game is the way it is for a reason. Yeah. Hey, potatoes. Her hey, Sagi potatoes. is not currently saving us from the shit that just went down in this game, so sorry if we sound a little dour right now. Yeah. <clears throat> I yeah. would say I'm not crying, you're crying, but that is not the case right now. But we press on anyway. Yeah, we've got to press on. We've got our own stuff ahead of us, just like Angela does. 
Not sure how we want to handle this because we are technically right over time, but it's a hell oh, of a really? time to stop, so. No, this is. Obviously, we're going until we hit a save point, but. I mean, I'm inclined to say screw it, we're going over. Yeah. But we're so close to an ending. I'm definitely not doing multiple endings tonight, but. No. I just can't imagine leaving it here at this point. Wait, there's stuff over there. Hidden ampules, nice. Police tape. They're coming for you, James. I say, I wonder what that's for, you fuckwit. A few characters I hate more than this guy at this precise moment in this game, so... I apologize for being a hard ass, but uh, oh gosh, uh, the sound effects in this game are really something else. Potatoes, I'm glad to hear they're uh, working their magic on you. Uh -huh. uh -oh. Our camera is inside. Is that an elevator? It sure looks like one. There's not an elevator over here on the map, is there? Since when have we done anything that was actually marked on a map? Okay. Uh, oh. Through the office? Nope. Okay, well, let's just go through this door that leads nowhere, according to the map, and shouldn't be here. Oh no, it's the Yonic grabbing hand oh, monsters fuck. again. Just as long as it's not the cage bastards again. I am not in the mood for that right far, now. As far as I remember, they never show up again in the game. None. Nothing like 15 plus year trauma. Uh, okay. Uh, what was that? Whoa. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Save, 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 save. Are you getting the hint that maybe something bad is about to happen? Okay. Last chance to decide we're gonna go. We're now outside the lobby for some reason. That's fine. There's a purple X on our map for no reason inside the lobby. Great. That's fine. Uh, none of this makes any sense anymore. Last chance, we can stop it. Save, 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 save. And save the endings for next time, but. Let's do at least the first one. It's okay, we got started a little late anyway. Okay. We do after the first that, we're calling we it. Well. Oh, really? You want to stop after the first one before we finish it? Because we're so close to the end at that point. Well, I mean, like, we need to finish the first oh, ending. first ending. Yes. Okay. Got we can it. do, like, I'm... DLC and a different ending on another day, but. I thought you'd never mind. Weak. That's why I needed you. I needed someone to punish me for my sins. But that's all over now. I know the truth. Now it's time to end this. Boy. 
Hope you like fighting one of these. Oh, okay. Now I know where we need the ampules. I thought two Clearly. of those was going to be enough. Me too. Wow, that's got to be the farthest close to dead you can possibly I be. did not know it even went that far. Yep. There are two pyramid heads, and they do in fact have the spears, so yep. that's great. Huh? Why are they leaving? Okay. And then the pyramid heads killed themselves. Very reminiscent of the first dungeon, or dungeon, first place. First pyramid head fight where we um the pyramid head just suddenly is like I'm out of here. They don't move anymore. I got a scarlet egg. I got a rust colored egg. I don't need this anymore. It's just a corpse now. So you decided to face your sins, and suddenly the Pyramid Heads don't want to attack you anymore. Yeah, that seems to be the gist of it. As he said, he did them because he needed someone to punish him. Or was he talking about Maria as well? Oh shit, I didn't think about that. There are people that will fight you bloody over the answer to that question. <laughs> oh, interesting. I don't feel like it really changes the narrative depending on which way you go with it, but... Rust colored egg. It's about the size of a quail's egg. Pyramid head was holding it. Scarlet egg. About the size of a quail's egg. Pyramid head was holding it. still locked. Okay. It really did look like 999 for a hot second. Okay, that's cemented off. It just leads back here. Um, that's cemented off. Gated. 
Only one way to go. All the other doors have been taken from us. The door that leads to nowhere. Mary? What do you want, James? I, uh, I brought you some flowers. Flowers? I don't want any damn flowers. Just go home already. Mary, what are you saying? Look, I'm disgusting. I don't deserve flowers. Between the disease and the drugs, I look like a monster. Well, what are you looking at? Get the hell out of here! Leave me alone already! No use to anyone. I'll be dead soon anyway. Maybe today. Maybe tomorrow. It'd be easier if they'd just kill me. But I guess the hospital is making a nice profit off me. They want to keep me alive. Are you still here? I told you to go! Are you deaf? Don't come back! James! Wait! Please don't go! Stay with me! Don't leave me alone! I didn't mean what I said. Please, James. Tell me I'll be okay. Tell me I'm not going to die. Help me. It's so nice when they save all the best voice acting for the end. Yeah. It feels special. Yeah. Oh, great, we can go down into the water. No, no we can't. Okay. Okay. Wonder who they're going to get to do the remake. Yeah, it's a really How bad good is that going to be? it's probably going to destroy people if they do it right. Yeah, really. the top. Uh. Mary? Wait. Huh? Mary? When will you ever stop making that mistake? Mary is dead. You killed her. Maria? It's you. But I don't need you anymore. What? You must be joking. But I can be yours. I'll be here for you forever. And I'll never yell at you or make you feel bad. That's what you wanted. I'm different than Mary. How can you throw me away? I understand now. It's time to end this nightmare. No! I won't let you. You deserve to die too, James! Okay! And it's back. Oh fuck, it's the mods from the beginning of the game! Plus the fucking flesh lips. In its own special hell version.
Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? Yep. Just got a little bit of a lot of different things going on here. She's the reason all the things exist, after all. Ah, is that what is that what it gets at? I, uh, you know. All the monsters were born from you trying to hide what you did. Uh, okay. I see. Yep, I see this. Oh boy. I'm out of bullets here. Uh... Maria is as much the core of this as Pyramid Head is. What is that sound? What's she doing? Hell if I know. Oops, wrong button. Great, that's it. Three of these left. Make them count. James? What are you doing? For those that aren't familiar, uh, James here works on tank controls, so if it looks particularly janky and awkward, that's why. Oh, this oh, the mods got me. Hey, mods! Again, death symbology in Japan. Uh, well, this is gonna get awkward. We now just have a shotgun. Dang it. Hey, Jimmy. Hi, welcome. Jimmy. Great timing. Thank you for the raid and welcome, raiders. Welcome to maybe the final boss battle? Yep. Well, one form of the final boss battle. There are others. Oh shoot, she got me. Ow. Oh, man. Hey, Scratch, hey, Jimmy. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> No, damn it. It is bad. Um, it's not as bad as that other one was, but it's pretty bad. It's gotta be getting close to dead. Come on, not now, James. Okay. It's the perfect time to reload. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. One more finishing blow, huh? One more time. Just like with Mary in the hospital. Yep. Mary? <coughs> James. Forgive me. I told you that I wanted to die, James. I wanted the pain to end. That's why I did it, honey. I just couldn't watch you suffer. No. That's not true. You also said you didn't want to die. The truth is, I hated you. I wanted you out of the way. I wanted my life back. James, if that were true, then why do you look so sad? Mary? James. Please. Please do something for me. Go on with your life. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday, but you never did. Well, I'm alone there now, in our special place, waiting for you. waiting for you to come to see me. But you never do. And so I wait, wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. I know I've done a terrible thing to you, something you'll never forgive me for. I wish I could change that. But I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here, waiting for you. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling, and all I can think about is how unfair it all is. The doctor came today. He told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better. It's just that this may be my last chance. I think you know what I mean. Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. I've missed you terribly. But I'm afraid, James. I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Whenever you come see me, I can tell how hard it is on you. I don't know if you hate me or pity me, or maybe I just disgust you. I'm sorry about that. When I first learned that I was going to die, I just didn't want to accept it. I was so angry all the time, and I struck out at everyone I loved most, especially you, James. <laughs> That's
that's why I understand if you do hate me. But I want you to know this, James. I'll always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this, I still wouldn't trade it for the world. We had some wonderful years together. <sighs> well, this letter has gone on too long, so I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. That means that as you read this, I'm already dead. I can't tell you to remember me. But I can't bear for you to forget me. These last few years since I became ill, I am so sorry for what I did to you, did to us. You've given me so much, and I haven't been able to return a single thing. That's why I want you to live for yourself now. Do what's best for you, James. James, you made me happy. all about fans. Yep. As always. Hey, Gary Amoka, fuck you. I love you, but fuck you. <laughs> yup. That's still the only way I can hear it. Sorry, what was that? That's still the only way I can ever hear it. Manifest 
implications of James's guilt. Guilt and attempts to delude himself into thinking he was not the monster he was. And the, uh... Yeah. And maybe a little bit of his horniness in there, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, he clearly resented the fact that his wife was too sick to do her job. Yeah. I sure as hell where Maria came from and why every other goddamn enemy in this game is perverted as hell. Why every- why most of them are, um, really horny? Yep. Why Pyramid Head is introduced the way he is? Yep. Unrestrained horniness taking the form of anything that he doesn't have to take responsibility for. Why all the nurses? Looked like they bought their outfits at a uh, costume store. My Maria shows up in strippers' clothing. Because she is a stripper at a bar. Which is and, evidently good enough for him. And of course, why a good chunk of the enemies were literally just crotches. Yep. Like, literally just crotches. Abstract Daddy is really the only one that doesn't fit the mold. The very first enemy we fought, the ones that vomit up the stuff sometimes, they kind of don't fit the mold too, but... I assume that's just a symbol of her sickness. Yeah! Oh. Good night, Jimmy. Thank you Good for night. sticking to the credits. Absolutely. Thanks for hanging out, as always. Oh, nice. The Enhanced Edition has its own credits. Yeah. It's good. It deserves it. And they, of course, they play this song. Of course. One of the most famous songs from this game. What's it called? Promise Reprise. <laughs> The original promise isn't nearly so iconic, but so if, you anyway. hang out, if you hang out with me in uh, FF14 at all, you have definitely heard me play this song through uh, means that I should not be able to play it through on Bard. So, <clears throat> so yeah. It was only fairly recently that, yeah, I learned that the those first enemies we fight are supposed to be like Mary trapped under the sheets, kind of. It's supposed to be a human figure yep. wrapped in sheets. You can Actually called the lying as, figure. Yeah. It's supposed to be... I guess you can take it as either Mary lying sick in bed, or you can take it as Mary struggling against being suffocated. why so many of the monsters are... And I was thinking of the mannequin monsters when I said they were made literally made out of crotches, but there's also just a lot of monsters with really, um... Well, I literally called some of the monsters Yonic. I don't have another mm -hmm. better word for it. That's the word. Not exactly subtle. It's called Flesh Lips. Do the math. Game result, action level normal, riddle level normal, your ending, leave, endings clear, one of four, 41 saves, 10 hours, 46 minutes, 48 seconds, you walked 21.56 <laughs> kilometers and ran 2.61, you used 238 items, defeated 17 enemies by shooting and 146 by melee, by fighting. I wonder if that counts stomps. Yeah, good question. It's gotta be, because I shot a lot more than 17 enemies. Yeah. Your boat, it, uh, it took you 2 minutes, 10 <laughs> seconds, uh, th oh, 03, uh, 
to get across the lake. It Your boat's you? max speed was 2.04 meters per second. I forgot that. I forgot that too. Your total damage is 1598 points. Your rank is five and a little bit stars. Yeah, six something. I'm trying to remember if that's like, if the bottom line is, I don't remember. Maybe it's six stars, maybe it's five, and like counting up to the next star, I'm not clear. And for the record, there was one ending that we didn't have the ability to get until we started a new game plus, but... There's three endings we don't have the ability to get until we start a new game plus, but they don't count all of them in that out of four. Yep. Leave is considered to be the fairly normal, like, this is the ending that most people get on their first playthrough. Yeah. I think it's safe to say. I've heard once that the, um... The speed run like runs the razor of this game runs the razor's edge between leave and one of the other endings, and it's pretty much ra almost random chance which one you get. So. That makes sense, given that I know what parameters it's looking for. But I'm not going to explain the parameters until we start the next ending, just because of how late we're already running. But fair enough. I will definitely Suffice explain what we're looking for and what's going to happen differently next time. Suffice to say, this game has a lot of endings. Well. Yeah, I call it a lot of endings. Um, and uh, how you get one ending or another is not simple. And it um, we can get more into that next time when we actually try and get a different ending. For now, we can, we can, I guess, rest in the knowledge we got the closest thing to a happy ending there is. We left yep. alive with Laura. We learned to forgive ourselves. We got... Mary's forgiveness in our heads. Our head. That said, most people do not like this ending because, well, you know, the murderer got off scot-free. There are other yeah. endings in which James will have to deal with a little bit more than that. Yeah. It almost seems too pat after everything that came before, and everything that James has done. Though it is kind of reflective of the fact that, like we said, Silent Hill's not here to pass judgment. It's just here to reflect the judgment these people are bringing on themselves. It's a journey. James, whether you believe he deserved it or not, freed himself from that in this ending. So... So it's a real question, I think, that, I mean, the thing I keep asking myself playing this game and long, long after it, honestly, sometimes every week, at least, is just, like, the shit you've done wrong in your life and all the things you feel like you need to pay for. What does your Silent Hill look like to you? What do you imagine it would be like? Because I spend way too much time thinking about that shit, and none of it's pretty. I haven't really done all that that, I mean, obviously I've never murdered anybody, but... There are still plenty of things you can get punished for. Funny. It sounded like Mary if she was still alive to be here. Felt guilty for getting sick. Which mm -hmm. is not her fault at all. But no. a good example of again it's about what you think you deserve to be punished for. She got all the punishment she needed. On that note, shall I switch to closing? Hang on, we're not done yet. Ah, sorry. The, um... I should at least explain this, the stars. It seems silly that this game scores you and gives you a, like, rank at the end. I, they do that in Silent Hill 1 and 2 and I think 3 too. I forget when they stopped doing it, but it's been a thing in the Silent Hill series. You'll notice that our enemies defeated by fighting is gold, which is means that it... Uh, cross some threshold 
in order to improve our rank. So, I think they're just, I mean, it's a Konami game. Sometimes, we, you know, I forget this, but it is a Konami game, which means it's from the same company that published Metal Gear Solid. And I think they were riffing on that, if I had to guess. Okay. That's just a guess. The, um... We're not going to sit around here and try and get a good rating or anything. I just no. wanted to explain the... It always felt incongruous to me that at the end it's like, Hey, here's a grade on how you did. And I'm like, <laughs> for all the shit we just went through, you really think I care about a grade? Exactly. Man, this has been... This has been a thing. This has been yep. a lot tonight. I hope we've done... I hope the game is able to speak for itself, and I hope we've been able to do at least a fraction of justice to it, because this is a very affecting game. Yep. I apologize for um, crying on the mic. I've done my best not to, like, full-on blabber or blubber. I can talk, but... <laughs> Some games just do it to me, and this is one of them. Yeah. Yeah. I sympathize with a lot of characters here for a lot of different reasons, and it's all a very complicated mess. I also hate a lot of characters here for a lot of different reasons. That too. And it's all a complicated mess. Yep. 500%. I promise to not make a habit of crying on stream. Do I don't know, someone's to. probably into it, but whatever. I'm not into it, I hate crying in public, it's horrible. game's worth it, though. It yep. deserves it. I knew this was going to happen when I suggested we do it, so... I have nobody to blame but myself. So anyway, um... Now we save our clear data. James, last thing I want to look at is your fucking face right now, alright? Game result, 10 hours 46. I thought it used to tell you. Maybe that's Silent Hill 1 that tells you what you unlocked with the clear data. That sounds right. Well, we can get into that next time when we start playing more Silent Hill 2 and try to get some different endings, it sounds yes. like, is what you'd like. You go ahead and change the cl to closing now. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Sorry, I'm stealing your cursor again. Yeah, it happens. Oh. <sighs> So there we go. So yeah, uh, what do we want to do next? It sounds like you don't want to leave it at just the one relatively pat and convenient and kind of positive ending. No, see, I have a different interpretation of what feels the most fitting to me in terms of ending. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of fans also agree with that assessment. So mm -hmm. at the very least, I want to give you guys an ex an idea of what most people think is the correct ending here and something that again is a little less uh positive it'll still There's... be fulfilling in its own way but it's not going to be a happy quote-unquote ending i mean that ending wasn't that happy like okay james gets off scot-free and i'm i have mixed feelings about that and a lot mm -hmm. of that boils down to how you feel about the complicated circumstances under which he killed Mary and whether you think she wanted it or not. But, um, but, but also, James is really bad with kids, and, like, the ending is him and Laura walking off into the sunset together, and I'm like, I know a lot of people are like, oh, James is gonna uh, adopt Laura like Mary wanted to. I'm like, no, he's terrible with kids, don't do that. Also, last we saw, she was beating his chest and telling him she hated him, so... Yeah, I'm not sure how that got resolved. With good reason. Yeah. I mean, I guess the I mean, the answer, of course, is, hey, these characters survived. They're going to go on with their lives. You can mm -hmm. leave what you want of that. But anyway, you were saying there are other endings. They're, you know, that come to other conclusions. Exactly. There are a lot of endings, some of which are significantly more fucked up than others. Um, I don't know that yeah. I'm going to necessarily stick around to do all the endings, but you will at least get what I think is my definitive quote-unquote ending. I think that's going to depend a lot on how long it takes us to re-earn even one ending. Yep. 
Please. We'll definitely like speed run it or something. We don't need to go digging around for everything as long as we can survive to do what needs to be done. Yeah. As long as it doesn't uh, kill the game's atmosphere too much. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, we've seen all the atmosphere. That's what this playthrough was for. Yeah. yeah. The sure. ending will probably change a little bit depending on our parameters, but. Yeah. And we also. Can get into hmm? I was going to say, there's also some uh, minor DLC for this game in which we get to play as Maria. Yes, that's right. The so. Xbox and, play and PC and like PlayStation Greatest Hits versions added a side mission where you play as Maria. That one only has one ending, at least, so we can just play it and, and be done with it. It's really interesting uh -huh. and kind of lends some additional information to what we've seen already. Yes. It's also required to play that in order to unlock the ability to get some of the other endings in the main game. Oh, I forgot uh, that. Okay. Yep. Yeah, there's endings you can't get in the main... We can get into that next week. Yeah, yep. for sure. But tonight, I think everybody's had enough, so... Yeah. Definitely get some sleep. Get some, like, go hug your friends, hug your family, do whatever you have to. Just don't be James. And don't, and don't hate yourself like Angela. Yeah. Whatever you, there's people out there that love you and don't ever forget that. The thing about most of the people that ended up here is they didn't have anybody to rely on or they felt like they couldn't for various reasons. And thankfully we don't live in that world. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good luck. And have fun. <laughs>